Let's read story with comprehension check. Bad habits. A wealthy businessman was worried about his son's bad habits. He sought counsel from a wise old man. The old man met the man's son and took him out for a stroll. They walked into the woods and the old man showed the boy a small sapling and asked him to pull it out. The boy did so it is and they walked on. The old man then asked the boy to pull out a small plant. The boy did that too with a little effort. As they walked, the old man asked the boy to pull out the bush, which he did. The next was a small tree, which the child had to struggle a lot to pull out. Finally, the old man showed him a bigger tree and asked the child to pull it out. The child failed to pull it out even after trying several times in different ways. The old man looks at the boy, smiles and says, So in the case with habits, good or bad? Bad habits are hard to get rid of once they have settled in our system. It is best to get rid of them early on. Your turn to read, kids. Good job! This time, let's answer the questions from the story. Number one, what is the primary concern of the wealthy businessman in the story? A. His son's success in school. B. His son's bad habits. C. His son's lack of friends. You're right, the correct answer is letter B, his son's bad habits. Number two, who does the businessman seek advice from regarding his son's habits? A, his wife. B, a wise old man. 
C. A child psychologist. You're right, the correct answer is letter B, a wise old man. Number three, what does the old man use as an analogy to explain the concept of habits to the boy? A, a garden. B, a forest. C, a library. You're right, the correct answer is letter B, a forest. Number four, what does the boy do with a small sapling in the woods? A, water it. B, pull it out. C, ignore it. You're right, the correct answer is letter B, pull it out. Number five, how does the boy handle the small plant? A, with ease. B, with difficulty. C, he lifts it untouched. You're right, the correct answer is letter A with ease. Number six, what is the significance of the bush in the story? A, it represents a challenging habit. B, it symbolizes the boy's favorite plant. C, it has no specific meaning. You're right, the correct answer is Letter A, it represents a challenging habit. Number 7. What is the outcome when the child tries to pull out the small tree? A. He succeeds effortlessly. B. He struggles but manages. C. He fails despite considerable effort. You're right, the correct answer is letter B, he struggles but manages. Number eight, what does the bigger tree represent in the story? A, an impossible habit to change. B, a symbol of the boy's strength. C, a reminder of nature's grandeur. You're right, the correct answer is letter A, an impossible habit to change. Number nine, what does the child fail to pull out the bigger tree? A, lack of effort. B, it's an impossible task. C, the old man stops him. You're right, the correct answer is letter B, it's an impossible task. Number 10, what is the main moral or lesson conveyed by the old man in the story? A, good habits are easy to cultivate. B, good habits are like rooted trees. C, changing habits requires consistent effort. You're right, the correct answer is letter C, changing habits requires consistent effort. How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job. Let's now proceed to the next story. The Cat and the Man One day, a man was walking by a road when he heard a cat meowing from the bushes nearby. 
the cat was stuck and needed help getting out. When the man reached out, the cat got scared and scratched the man. The man screamed in pain but didn't back down. He tried again and again, even as the cat continued to scratch his hands. Another passerby saw this and said, Just let it be. The cat will find a way to come out later. The man didn't pay heed but tried until he helped the cat. Once he left the cat free, he told the other man, The cat is an animal, and its instincts make him scratch and attack. I am a human, and my instincts make me compassionate and kind. Treat everyone around you like you want to be treated. Adhere to your own rules or ethics, not theirs. Your turn to read, kids. Good job! This time, let's answer the questions from the story. Number one, what did the man hear while walking by the road? A. A dog barking. B. A cat meowing. C. Birds chirping. You're right, the correct answer is... Letter B, a cat meowing. Number two, what did the cat do when the man reached out to help? A, it purred with joy. B, it scratched the man. C, it ignored the man. You're right, the correct answer is... Letter B, it scratched the man. Number three, how did the man react when the cat scratched him? A, he screamed but didn't back down. B, he scolded the cat. C, he laughed it off. You're right, the correct answer is Letter A, he screamed but didn't back down. Number 4, what did another passerby suggest to the man regarding the cat? A, let it be and it will find its way out. B, call animal control for help. C, 
offer the cat some food. You're right, the correct answer is letter A. Let it be and it will find its way out. Number five, how did the man justify his actions after helping the cat? A. Cats are naturally aggressive. B. Human instincts are compassionate and kind. C. He wanted to prove a point to the other man. You're right, the correct answer is Letter B, human instincts are compassionate and kind. Number 6, what is the main lesson conveyed by the man's response to the other passerby? A, animals should be left alone in difficult situations. B, compassion and kindness are human instincts. C, humans should not interfere with nature. You're right, the correct answer is Letter B, compassion and kindness are human instincts. The special friendship of fox, raccoon, and hedgehog. Once upon a time, in a deep forest, three animal friends lived happily. A clever fox, a curious raccoon, and a spiky hedgehog. Every day, they explored the forest together. They played games, laughed, and shared the things they loved. Sometimes, it was yummy berries. Sometimes, it was shiny pebbles. When Raccoon got stuck climbing a tree, Fox and Hedgehog worked together to help him down. Friendship meant helping each other, no matter what. Even though they were different, their friendship made them stronger. They learned that being unique is what made them special, just like the colors of a rainbow. They had picnics under the warm sun. Fox told stories. Raccoon found hidden treasures. And Hedgehog made everyone laugh with his tickly quills. On rainy days, they huddled under the tree, sharing stories and giggles. They learned that even rainy days can be filled with smiles. They gazed at the sky, imagining exciting adventures. No matter where they were, being together made everything feel magical. The magical band of friendship is like a forest that grows stronger when we care, share, and appreciate each other. Your turn to read, kids.
Good job! This time, let's answer the questions from the story. Number one, who are the three animals friends in the deep forest? A. Fox, Rabbit, Owl B. Fox, Raccoon, Hedgehog C. Squirrel, Deer, Bear You're right, the correct answer is letter B, facts, raccoon, hedgehog. Number two, what do the friends do every day in the forest? A, explore together. B, sleep. C, hunt for food. You're right. The correct answer is letter A, explore together. Number three, when Raccoon got stuck, how did Fox and Hedgehog help him? A, they left him there. B, they worked together to help him down. C, they laughed at him. You're right. The correct answer is letter B. They work together to help him down. Number four. What did the friends learn about their differences? A. Being different is a problem. B. Their friendship made them stronger. C. They should avoid each other. You're right. The correct answer is letter B. Their friendship made them stronger. Number five. What did Hedgehog do that made everyone laugh? A. Told stories. B. Found hidden treasures. C. Tickled with his quills. You're right. The correct answer is letter C, tickled with his quills. Number six, what did the friends do on rainy days? A, stayed inside. B, had picnics. C, huddled under a tree, sharing stories and giggles. You're right. The correct answer is letter C, huddled under a tree, sharing stories and giggles. Number seven. How is the magical band of friendship described? A. Like a desert. B. Like a river. C. Like a forest that grows stronger when we care, share, and appreciate each other. You're right. The correct answer is letter C, like a forest that grows stronger when we care, share, and appreciate each other. How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job. Let's now proceed to the next story. The Park In a lush Greenland, where flowers sway, a park blooms bright in the light of day. From sunrise golden till stars embark, a wondrous place for every heart. Beneath tall trees, embrace so cool. The park invites as a tranquil pool. A spot to rest to find your grace. A calming haven 
a peaceful place. Couples wonders, fingers entwined, loves glow in their eyes, intertwined. In the park's embrace, feelings ignite, their steps in harmony, hearts take flight. Families gather, laughter sweet song, the park their canvas, where memories strong, children's laughter, vibrant and free, in the park's haven, they dance with glee. Infants in arms, a love so pure, parents' hearts full, emotions tear, in the park's aura, a band takes hold, a story of love forever told. A girl and her mother, nature's friends, chasing butterflies, where wonder never ends. With every flutter, a moment so grand, in the park's realm, they explore hand in hand. Friends stroll the path, laughter a glow. A picnic spread under sky's soft glow. With food and tales, they create their art. In the park's embrace, friendships start. Elders with pets, a tender scene. In the park's tranquility, they convene. With faithful companions, they find their groove. In the park's embrace, memories move. Your turn to read, kids. Good job! This time, let's answer the questions. Number one, what kind of place is described in the poem? A. Desert B. Forest C. Park
You're right. The correct answer is letter C, park. Number two, how is the park described during the daytime? A. Dimly lit. B. Blooms bright. C. Covered in shadows. You're right. The correct answer is letter B. Blooms bright. Number three, what do couples experience in the park? A. Confusion B. Ignition of feelings C. Disinterest You're right. The correct answer is letter B. Ignition of feelings Number four, what is the atmosphere in the park when families gather? A. Solemn B. Vibrant with laughter C. Silent You're right, the correct answer is Letter B. Vibrant with laughter Number five, what emotion is described in relation to infants in the park? A. Sadness B. Joy C. Anger You're right, the correct answer is Letter B. Joy Number six, what do a girl and her mother do in the park? A. Play video games. B. Chase butterflies. C. Sleep. You're right, the correct answer is letter B. Chase butterflies. Number 7. How do friends start their friendships in the park? A. Playing sports B. Watching movies C. Having a picnic You're right. The correct answer is Letter C. Having a picnic the Camel and the Baby One day, a camel and her baby were chatting. The baby asked, Mother, why do we have humps? The mother replied, Our humps are for storing water so that we can survive in the desert. Oh, said the child, and why do we have rounded feet, mother? Because they are meant to help us walk comfortably in the desert. These legs help us move around in the sand. Alright, but why are our eyelashes so long? To protect our eyes from the desert dust and sand. They are the protective covers for the eyes, replied the mother camel. The baby camel thought for a while and said, so we have humps to store water for desert journeys, rounded hooves to keep us comfortable when we walk in the desert sand and long eyelashes to protect us from sand and dust during a desert storm. Then, what are we doing in a zoo? The mother was dumbfounded. Your strengths, skills, and knowledge are useless 
if you are not in the right place. Your turn to read, kids. Good job! This time, let's answer the questions from the story. Number one, why do camels have humps according to the mother camel in the story? A. To store food. B. To store water. C. For decoration. You're right, the correct answer is letter B, to store water. Number two, what is the purpose of the rounded feet of camels in the story? A, for walking comfortably in the desert. B, for climbing mountains. C, for swimming. You're right. The correct answer is letter A for walking comfortably in the desert. Number three, why do camels have long eyelashes as explained by the mother camel? A for attracting mates. B to protect their eyes from the desert, dust and sand. C as a fashion statement. You're right. The correct answer is letter B, to protect your eyes from the desert dust and sun. Number four, according to the story, what do the humps of camels store for desert journeys? A, food. B, water. C, sand. You're right. The correct answer is letter B, water. Number five, what is the purpose of the rounded hooves of camels in the story? A, for tap dancing. Letter B, for comfortable walking in the desert sand. C, for digging holes. You're right. The correct answer is letter B for comfortable walking in the desert sand. 
Number six, what do the long eyelashes of camels protect them from in the story? A. Rain B. Snow C. Desert dust and sand during a storm You're right, the correct answer is Letter C. Desert dust and sand during a storm Number 7. Why is the mother camel dumbfounded at the end of the story? A. The baby camel asked too many questions. B. The baby camel gave a wrong answer. C. The baby camel questioned why they are in a zoo despite their desert adaptations. You're right, the correct answer is Letter C, the baby camel questioned why they are in a zoo despite their desert adaptations How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job! Let's now proceed to the next story The Farmer and the Well A farmer looking for a source of water for his farm both a well from his neighbor. The neighbor was cunning, though, and refused to let the farmer take water from the well. On asking why, he replied, I sold the well to you, not the water, and walked away. The distraught farmer didn't know what to do. So he went to Bir Bali, a clever man and one of the nine courtiers of Emperor Akbari for a solution. The emperor called the farmer and his neighbor and asked why the man was not letting the farmer draw water from the well. The cunning man said the same thing again. I sold the well, not the water, so he cannot take my water. To this, Birbal replied, All that sounds fine to me, but if you have sold the water and the water is yours, then you have no business keeping your water in his well. Remove the water or use it all up immediately. If not, the water will belong to the owner of the well. Realizing that he's been tricked and taught his lesson, the man apologized and left. Cheating will not get you anything. If you do cheat, you'll play for it soon enough. Your turn to read, kids.
Good job! This time, let's answer the questions from the story. Number one, why did the farmer approach Birbal for help in the story? A. He needed advice on farming techniques. B. He wanted to buy more wells. C. His neighbor refused to let him take water from the well he bought. You're right, the correct answer is Letter C, his neighbor refused to let him take water from the well he bought. Number two, what did the cunning neighbor claim when he asked why he wouldn't let the farmer draw water from the well? A, he sold the well, not the water. B, the well was dry. C, he forgot the agreement. You're right, the correct answer is Letter A, he sold the well, not the water. Number 3, who is Birbal in the story? A, a well digger. B, a clever man and one of Emperor Akbar's courtiers. C, the neighbor's friend. You're right, the correct answer is Letter B, a clever man and one of Emperor Akbar's courtiers. Number 4, what did Birbal suggest to resolve the issue with the well? A, buy more wells. B, remove the water or use it all up immediately. C, file a complaint with the Emperor. You're right, the correct answer is letter B, remove the water or use it all up immediately. Number 5, why did the neighbor apologize at the end of the story? A, he realized he was the one who sold the well, not just the water. B, he was afraid of punishment from the emperor. C, he wanted to be friends with the farmer. You're right, the correct answer is Letter A, he realized he was the one who sold the well, not just the water. Number 6, what was the farmer's dilemma in the story? A, his crops were not growing. B, his well was too deep. C, his neighbor refused to let him use the well he bought. You're right, the correct answer is Letter C, his neighbor refused to let him use the well he bought. Number 7, what did the neighbor have to do to avoid losing the water in the well according to Birbal's solution? A, buy the water back. B, remove the well. C, remove the water or use it all up immediately. You're right, the correct answer is Letter C, remove the water or use it all up immediately. How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button to be notified on our next episodes. Goodbye, kids!
Teacher Shell Learning Resource Channel. Let's read story with comprehension check. Elephant and Friends A lone elephant wandered the forest looking for friends. She came across a monkey and asked, Will you be my friend, monkey? You are too big and cannot swing on trees as I do, so I cannot be your friend, said the monkey. The elephant then came across a rabbit and asked him if she could be his friend. You are too big to fit inside my burrow. You cannot be my friend, replied the rabbit. Then the elephant met a frog and asked if she could be her friend. The frog said, You are too big and heavy. You cannot jump like me. I'm sorry, but... You cannot be my friend. The elephant asked a fox, and he got the same reply, that he was too big. The next day, all the animals in the forest were running in fear. The elephant stopped a bear and asked what was happening, and was told that a tiger has been attacking all the animals. The elephant wanted to save the other weak animals and went to the tiger and said, Please, sir, leave my friends alone. Do not eat them. The tiger didn't listen and asked the elephant to mind her own business. Seeing no other way to solve the problem, the elephant kicked the tiger and scared it away. She then went back to the others and told them what happened. On hearing how the elephant saved their lives, the animals agreed in unison. You are just the right size to be our friend. Friends come in all shapes and sizes. Your turn to read, kids.
Good job! This time, let's answer the questions from the story. Number one, what was the elephant looking for in the forest? A. Food B. Water C. Friends You're right, the correct answer is letter C, friends. Number two, why did the monkey refuse to be friends with the elephant? A, the elephant was too small. B, the elephant couldn't swing on trees. C, the monkey was afraid of the elephant. You're right, the correct answer is Letter B, the elephant couldn't swing on trees. Number 3, why did the rabbit decline the elephant's friendship? A, the rabbit was too small. B, the elephant couldn't fit in the burrow. C, the rabbit didn't like the elephant. You're right, the correct answer is Letter B, the elephant couldn't fit in the burrow. Number 4, why did the frog reject the elephant as a friend? A, the elephant couldn't jump. B, the elephant was too small. C, the elephant was too noisy. You're right, the correct answer is Letter A, the elephant couldn't jump. Number 5, what was the fox's reason for not becoming friends with the elephant? A, the fox was too small. B, the elephant was too big. C, the fox was not interested in making friends. You're right, the correct answer is Letter B, the elephant was too big. Number 6, why were all the animals in the forest running in fear the next day? A, it was a game they played. B, a tiger was attacking them. C, they were chasing each other. You're right, the correct answer is Letter B, a tiger was attacking them. Number 7, how did the elephant find out about the tiger attacking the animals? A, she overheard the animals talking. B, she saw the tiger herself. C, she asked a bear. You're right, the correct answer is letter C, she asked a bear. Number 8, what did the tiger say when the elephant asked him to leave her friends alone? A, he agreed to stop. B, he ignored her. C, he apologized. You're right, the correct answer is Letter B, he ignored her. Number 9, what did the elephant do to scare away the tiger? A, she roared loudly. B, she kicked the tiger. C, she ran away. You're right, 
the correct answer is Letter B. She kicked the tiger. Number 10. How did the other animals react when they heard how the elephants saved their lives? A. They ignored her. B. They thanked her. C. They were angry with her. You're right, the correct answer is Letter B, they thanked her How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job! Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button to be notified on our next episodes Goodbye kids!